Hey y'all, it's Lady C, and we are back from North Carolina. Um, now me and hubby are eating Italian. We need everything else. Time to eat some Italian. So we ordered out Italian. We got some calamari, and we got some penne from Toscano. It has pieces of sausage in it, kale, and it's got a white uh, wine sauce on it. And then we got salads and breadsticks, you guys. So we about to throw down. This is the after Christmas throw down. We're going to change it up. Cause we've been eating a lot of soul food and everything else so we're coming down off of our soul food high hope everybody had a great christmas hope you continue to have a wonderful holiday until the new year talk at y'all later bye bye now hey y'all it's lady c in the place to be lady c's lifestyles and as you can see my laundry room is under construction um, actually, this is what it used to look. This is what one side of it looked like. And then we had drywall. Just drywalls, you guys, you know. Well, hubby did paint it. I told him just to paint it a basic, um, you know, like a tan. So that's what we did. We painted it like a tan. I got a nice little carpet for the floor so far. We did buy a new trash can. We cleaned up our, um wash basin still needs to be cleaned a little bit but if you guys would have seen it beforehand it was very very dirty it's just dirty now because we're working on stuff um i bought this multi-purpose cart um this is going to go in here for the laundry trash can this is just junk um i'm going to change out hopefully be able to change out this light uh fixture See, we just have a bare light fixture, so we're going to try to change that out. Um, and then on this side, you guys, I didn't know what to do with this. Because, you see, you can see the, you know, the all the plumbing and the piping and all that. And it's not drywalled. We never drywalled this because, you know, you need to access it. You know, if something goes on, you got to be able to get, be able to, get to these things. Um, so, I'm thinking that what I might do, hubby and I... We're going to hook something up to put a curtain, hang a curtain that's going to hang and cover, cover this so that you can't see it. I don't know. This is just my idea, you guys. I'm going to do something like that to cover this all up. If anybody else has any other ideas, let me know. But that's what I'm thinking because most of this, I really don't want to drywall. Now, I could drywall from here through here behind the sink and over here but over here where we need to get to these different electrical things and water items i don't really want to drywall so if anybody has any ideas of things that they did um i am going to take these beams at the top and i told hubby i think i'm going to paint them because i'm not going to put a ceiling up here i don't know we may do a drop ceiling similar to what we have in here see we just have a drop ceiling in the other parts of my basement so i may have him if he wants to take the time to do it we would have to fix a drop ceiling up here but we're just trying to make it look, look a little bit more homey <laughs> down here because uh, it's always been a black hole and nobody ever wanted to come down here to wash clothes um so we're trying to make it look a little bit better um, you know, the rest of the basement is more homey looking. I mean, it's not perfect, but it is somewhere where you can hang out. And it's a very, very large space. Um, I've done videos in here before. Excuse my attire because I look a mess today. But we have TV down here. We have a whole nother room down here where we used to do movies and things like that. We don't hardly come down here anymore because the kids are gone. Somebody can live down here. We've got a bathroom down here. Um, a little, one of those little fake fireplaces. Um, yeah. We've got a whole nother bathroom down here, you guys, with a shower. And the, um, yeah. So, and other than that, we just got to make sure that that laundry room gets fixed up so we're working on it don't know why. hey y'all it's lady c in the place to be lady c's lifestyles and i am 
You know, I always say I'm tired, you guys. I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to say we running on low today, right? Um, and I'm here to give you guys a grocery haul. This is a pre-New Year's Eve grocery haul. We had to pick up some items because you know we cooking for New Year's Eve all the time. Did it for Christmas. Do it for Christmas Eve. We always cooking. Hubby loves to cook. I, I, I'm following behind him. But anyway... Hubby stopped at our local grocery store. This was, um, they're called Harvest Fair. They usually have really good prices on meats. So we wanted to pick up some meats, so that's where we headed to. Um, and let me show you guys what we picked up. Okay, so Hubby picked up some chicken. This isn't part of our New Year's Eve meal, but he picked this up. They always have good price, you guys. This is the Chicken Leg Quarters Family Pack. This was $3.06. Very, very good price. Yes, yes. Um, and then Hubby picked up some chicken wingettes. These were $8.19 for the fountain pack. Not yet, you know, not too bad. Let me show you guys these. Not bad, not bad. Um, finish up with the rest of the meat. He picked up some golf shrimp. This is 30, 3140 brown headless. And then he picked up some cooked shrimp. These are peeled and deveined tail on. Like this is 12 ounces. This one is 12 ounces. And this one is two pounds. What is it, babe? They had that on sale pre-cooked for like $2 and some change. Okay, the pre-cooked, he said, were $2 and some change for these. That's a good deal. How much was your golf shrimp? Do you remember? Like uh, $13. Okay, the bag of the two pound of the golf shrimp was like $13, you guys. So we picked them up. Um, we also picked up, let's see, you guys probably picked up some New York Strip Family Pack. This is $15.15. These are looking real pretty. We love this grocery store for the look of their meat and, you know, the, the value. Um, so this is looking real nice. Now, getting down to these, this is what we're going to make for our New Year's Eve dinner. Um, let me turn, I got it upside down, y'all. Um, this is a pack of the ribs. We like these because they're pre-cut. See how they're pre-cut, you guys? And these are the sliced pork spare ribs. Um, these were $8.98 for this pack. Pretty big pack for that price. See that? And then Hobby picked up one other pack. Um, let's see, that's another pack. What is this? Meat looks so pretty. And these are the sliced pork spare ribs again. And this pack is only $7.88. So pretty good, you guys. So this is what we'll be cooking up. We're going to cook up these ribs for New Year's Eve. Um, so that's all of our meat. Um, hubby also picked up some of the Smith, ah, Smithfield fully cooked bacon. We love this for breakfast or you just use it for whatever you need it for. Picked up one of those. Um, so for our New Year's Eve dinner, let me continue. We're going to have the ribs. Um... Of course, what else you got to have, you guys, but your black eyed peas. We're going to have some black eyed peas cooked up. Um, Hubby picked these up. He said it was really hard to get these. You know how New Year's, everybody's buying black eyed peas. So I told him we just need a small pack. He picked these up. This was 16 ounces, one pound. I don't know how much. I'm not going to look it up right now, but I'll put on the screen how much we paid for these. Um, we're going to have... Black eyed peas, we're gonna have the ribs. Hubby picked up a cabbage. We're gonna have a cabbage mixed with some kale. So we're gonna uh, cook cabbage with some kale. So we got those two. Um, there's our onion, because you know you gotta use some onion either for our black eyed peas or for our kale and our cabbage. Hubby also picked up some oranges. Picked up one red onion. We picked up some lime. And we picked up some bananas, green, just like I like them. Um, hubby picked up some core power. He loves these core power vanilla complete protein. These are 14 fluid ounces. He picked up two of those. And okay, he's saying this one is strawberry. Ooh, okay. Um, he picked up those two. And then he picked up a dozen of the Eglin's Best Large Eggs. Um, that really is it. Everybody's talking about how high, uh, how high eggs are going up, you guys. He said these were three dollars and sixty nine cent for these. He's saying the off brands were five dollars and eighty nine cents. So 
local yeah, the local brand. So everybody is talking about how eggs are going up, you guys. So when you go out looking for eggs, just you know look at your pricing and see if you can get the best price. Um, I love eggs, so I probably couldn't live without them. I don't care how high they go. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. So we'll come back when we're cooking um, New Year's Eve so we can show you guys us cooking up these ribs, the kale, the cabbage, the black eyed peas. I think we're going to have some cornbread. And that's probably it, you guys. Potato yeah, potato salad. Now, we're not making our potato salad. We're going to have to go out and buy it because I'm not in the mood to be making potato salad, cutting everything. So um, I'll come back and show you all of that. Um, but that's it for right now. I just want to show you guys this haul. Hope everybody else is getting ready for New Year's. You know, we're thinking about what we're going to do better um, in our life and everything else. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. There's one other thing we're going to eat. Okay, you guys, I wanted to get this out of the freezer. While we were in North Carolina, we picked up some of this Pender's Sea Loaf. And basically, this is Chitlin Loaf for those that don't know. Um, I like chitlins, but I like a little bit of chitlins. I don't want to cook up a whole big pot of them. So hubby picked this up. This is 16 ounces, one pound. And this is what it looks like. It's basically pre-cooked, pre-cleaned. Not pre-cooked, pre-cleaned. -pre and it's frozen. And it's just a loaf of chitlins. So basically, you take this out. You could, hubby usually cooks it up in a frying pan. with You could do green pepper, onion. However you want to do it, cook it up. You could cook it up in a crock pot if you want to do that. However you want to cook them up. But this is another item we're going to have. So we're going to have the sea loaf, which is chitlin loaf. We're going to have the ribs. Again, we're going to have the kale mixed with the cabbage and the black eyed peas and potato salad, cornbread. So I will come back and show you guys how all this works out. But I did want to show you the sea loaf. Pender's brand is a really good brand in North Carolina. We love their sausage. Um, like we love their sausage. So, um, we usually pick up some while we're in North Carolina. We didn't really have time, um, to pick none up, but this is one of our favorite brands. So anyway, I'll be talking at you guys later. You guys have a great night. Be safe, be blessed. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, thank you guys for watching and Lady C will be back in the next one. Bye-bye y'all.